Hello everybody. Here we are. We're back at the Bearsville Bees headquarters and as promised we're going to do a step-by-step -step build of the new Layens Hive and hopefully this is the one that's going to be going home with me today. So you better stick tight and uh, this may be the one that you see at our house when we get back home. But we're going to do step-by-step -step, and once we get to the final parts of of things starting to go together and take shape we're going to join Bob and Lenny and them building the box and doing the final product so stay tuned watch all the way to the end of the video and once we get to the end we're gonna have that big reveal and if you're like me when you see that big reveal of that wood stain and and that wood grain that's what you want to see so stick tuned let's go <laughs> Lenny. Alright guys, so we're going to take it right off the bat. We're going to get right into it. Lenny and Bob is here and they're ready to start putting this thing together so you can see what happens. So you guys go ahead and start off and show us what you're going to do. Alright, so so far we have constructed our outer box for our lens hive. Lenny's got the observation window built in. We're going to set the inner box in real quick. Put the insulation in there, top to bottom. So you got, we got a three quarter inch pine box. We got three quarters inch of insulation and another three quarter inch box. That's gonna slide right down in. Goes in. Lenny will come back. Go ahead and put the, the uh, 
We use Lexan. He'll put the Lexan observation window in. Come back and we'll go ahead and start trimming out the top, trimming out the lid. Of course we have the observation window and you can see we're not using, losing any insulation factor because the insulation is attached to it. We'll go in here. And he's designed a couple stops to hold the window in. The lid will go on. Don't forget that the lid also has the same insulation factor. So we've got the wood and the insulation and another piece of wood and then provide the space that you can lay a blanket in the winter time to absorb the moisture. And of course the, the lid has the vent holes in top of it. This is our new lanes hive. We are extremely proud of this lanes hive. This observation window, the winter time you think you want to come out and take a quick look, peek in and see if what's going on with the bees. All you got to do is pop the, uh, the door out, take a quick look. Bees are active. All right, Bob, so are you ready for the big reveal of the finished product? We are. All right. Easy. Let's move that That's one easy. out of the way and we'll get started. Because this right. big reveal, guys, is really nice. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the finished product of the Bearsville Bees Lands Hot. So, the master, the creators, let's go through it. Show us step by step, one by one, what's, what differentiates you from everybody else and why this is the best one out there. Well, Andrew, we are 100% proud of this product. Number one, everything you see here besides this piece of metal, the insulation between the two things, and this chain comes from West Virginia. We mill our own wood, we dry our own wood, it comes down here to the shop. So we're really proud of that. And it's made by West Virginians. Um, <clears throat> Lenny and I sat down and worked on this design he is the design engineer. I come and say, hey, I need 14 frames for the lanes hive. I need two boxes with insulation in the middle. Make it happen. It happened. Here it is. Front of our hive, we've got three entrances, landing board. Remember, the only place that there is solid wood to wood contact is through these entrances. So the insulation isn't accessible to the bees. As we pan around, Every hive you go to, you got to lift the lid off of. You got to lift it. We don't have to lift the lid. Tilt it back. That's it. You're working your hive. Something that I tasked Lenny with, and he has come through with flying collars. And this comes from a customer, just out of the blue, said, Hey, I'd like to be able to see my bees. What's going on with them? I said, Hey, Lenny, put me a window in this thing. So. Come up, window. How cool is that? November, December, anytime, you can go pop those window, pop that window out. You can take a look in there. You can see what your bees are doing if they're active. You're not in digging around in your hive. You're not disturbing your bees. You're gonna let a little sunlight in. <clears throat> but that's just, I mean, that's a major distinguishing factor. We don't think anyone else <clears throat> has one of those. Moving on to the inside, something else that we've done. This is a, a lands top bar, so the top of the hive is 100% completely solid. How do you get the frames out? We decided to put some eye hooks in. You could take a hooked eye, a hive tool, a hooked hive tool, hook it down, pull the frame out, you have a handle. And the difference between, remember, with a Langstroth hive, you're picking boxes up, you're picking anywhere a full honey super that can be up to 80, 90 pounds, you're picking full of honey, 14 pounds. That's it. Follower boards, 
I'll throw it so this hive could actually be right now if you wanted. We have a follower board here. Grab that follower board, Lenny. A follower board here. So we've got four frames, four frames, four frames. Entrance, entrance, entrance. This could this could serve as four hives if you wanted, or three hives if you wanted it to. And look at the quality of these frames, guys. Look at this quality. These, oh, that's the divider. These so, frames are made right here at Bearsville Bees. We're using our CNC technology. We're milling the sides out, milling the tops and the bottoms. Um, as you can see, there's no flex. They're glued. Two staples here, two staples here. Same thing on the bottom staple, two staples here. Wire. See, can you tell me what tune it is? Is that a C minor, G minor? I'm, anyway, it's something flat. Yeah, it's flat. <laughs> it's flat. That's a good. One. But we're pretty, we're pretty proud of them. And what is your frames made out of, Bob? We we make the sides of our frames out of poplar. The stress on these frames are here, so the poplar is a little bit stronger wood. The the tops we make out of pine, and uh, it mills a little bit better. The stress and the str all the stress fracture or stress points are in the side of these frames. And you can see they're fine. We use brass grommets everywhere that the wire goes through. So the, you know, the wire's not cutting in. And you, I, I don't know if that's an A, B, or C, whatever it is, but there's a little bit of tension on that wire. Bees are gonna come in. We provide with the hive some starter strip wax that goes across the top. So if they wanna come in, the, the, when the bees come in, they can instantly start building. Um, they'll start building from this instantaneously. They'll come up just like in a tree. And remember, this is supposed to mimic the inside of a tree cavity. You've got outside wood, insulation, inside wood. A natural tree has an R6 insulation factor. This hive is somewhere between 8.5 and 9 on its insulation factor. Vent holes in the top. A lot of people think the vent holes is to get ventilation out of, out of the hive in the summertime. That's, abs that's not true. In the wintertime, we would take and we'd put a blanket on here, uh, something water absorbent to get the moisture. Moisture is what the bee is the bee's worst enemy. And when this is closed up, these vent holes just provide enough to get the moisture out of that wicking material or that blanket in there. So again, very proud. Everything here comes from West Virginia besides the metal, the staples, the staples that we use to shoot it together and the chain and the eye hooks. This is the new Lands Hive made, designed, built by Bearsville Bee. So if you want one of these hives, if you like this design, you see this quality, this is great quality, go to bearsvillebees.com. You'll be able to pick this up they're working on their shipping. They're working on building frames here. They can take. They're full service. They can take care of everything you want. All right, guys, that was great. Thank you, bro. Good job. Appreciate it. Looks great. Good job, Thank Lenny. You. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.